Yeah, guys, we've heard from officials uh, just before noon today, and we just got our first look at the scene as they allowed us to come up. That was around 2 o'clock or so, but I'll give you a look. The home is gone, completely leveled. Pieces of wood and other materials in that home are everywhere. A neighbor we spoke with said she had windows blown out and also lost great neighbors. Oh, we feel terrible. I mean, our neighbors are gone. It's just so sad. It's terrible that this could happen. Officials haven't identified the man and woman who died, but a woman who lives next door to the home that exploded told folks on scene it was her parents inside. When firefighters got here just after nine this morning, the foundation of the home was on fire, as was part of the hillside. That's when they found the bodies. The fire chief described that he and his crew felt the blast from their nearby station. Oh, we feel terrible. I mean, our neighbors are gone. It's just so sad. It's terrible that this could happen. Yeah, and that was the uh, neighbor once again. Uh, but the, the, the chief said that they all felt and heard the explosion instantly. There was a column of white smoke up in the air, followed by a thick column of black smoke. Now, officials say there was a private gas well here as well as propane on site, but the official cause is still unclear. That's going to take some time to find out and to put things in perspective. The, the plum house explosion happened seven months ago. We still have not learned an exact cause there. Reporting live from Crescent Township, Allegheny County tonight, Tom Garris, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. And that puts it into perspective. Tom, thank you. Let's go back live now to Sky 4, which is above Pittsburgh's only news chopper on scene. It's been giving us these pictures all throughout the day. Our Sam Hall walking us through the images from above all throughout the afternoon. Sam joins us live once again now. Sam, you often get a glimpse of the response from police and firefighters, EMTs, sometimes before the rest of us do. So what did you see this morning and throughout as this emergency unfolded this morning? Oh, it's a tremendous response by firefighters. I think not only from this community, but from the surrounding communities as well. We heard first responders telling our reporters on the ground there that uh, several first responders had run directly into this building without regard for their own safety. And really, this was a burning building at the time. And we now can see that there was no floor there. But how dangerous was it for them to run into this building really unaware that there might not be a floor where they took their next step to go in and find out whether or not there was anyone in this home that they could possibly save. And it is uh, uh, tremendously quickly done, tremendously efficiently done, and safely done as they took care of each other and the surrounding community in making sure that the fire was taken care of. And I'll tell you what else, they fought this fire. I'm going to pan back and show you. And I kept thinking it all morning long as we watched it, there's so much heavy, heavy debris in these trees. Look at the amount of wood right above them as they fought this fire. They fought it without maybe even knowing that they were in danger of one wind gust or something going off balance and all of this heavy wood possibly falling down on them while they were fighting this fire. So remarkable response by crews at the scene all morning and then all day long. Remarkable, Sam, indeed. Now, Sam, this community, as you've shown us, uh, sits along the Ohio River. So are you surprised so many along the River Valley felt the explosion even from miles away? I'm not surprised at all that uh, it's almost like there's a small hillside behind this home that I think forced the explosion. As you look at the debris, you see the kind of the bulk of the debris going toward the river as it gets past these neighboring homes. I think the hill behind the home directly kind of helped reflect, if you will, the explosion out toward the river and across the river. And that's why we saw so many videos and people across the river responding that they heard and felt this explosion when it happened at 9 o'clock this morning, Andrew. All right, Sam Hall reporting from Sky 4. We will be keeping track of things at the scene throughout our newscast. Thanks once again, Sam.